Hey, what's going on boys and girls? My name's Arthur, and I'm coming at you guys with another Black Ops 2 gameplay commentary today. And today I actually have a gameplay of, I start out using the M8A1, but I do turn back into the gold AN94 right here, as you can see. And uh, that's pretty much it in the gameplay. Like I said, I don't really know uh, what it is a lot of. I know it's a 55, I think an 11 gameplay. Um, I don't know too much about the gameplay because I've been, I've been uh, pretty busy lately and haven't had time to get gameplays, so... Uh, by the way, if you guys uh, do record, make sure to send me a gameplay for uh, Wednesday and Friday. If not, I'll have to try to get one by then, too. But if you if you can, send me a gameplay. We'll talk that over. Um, another thing is, tomorrow is going to be the first episode of Tutorial Tuesday. Well, the first legit episode, because I did an episode kind of announcing what it is and what's going to be going on. But tomorrow is Tuesday, and it's going to be the first episode of Tutorial Tuesday. I got so many, so many, so many comments on the last one. Uh, well, I mean, not so many compared to how many a lot of YouTubers get, but for the amount of comments I usually get, the last uh, Tutorial Tuesday video, is it's it got a lot of comments, so I can already see that that video series is going to be a big success. Um, hopefully, uh, it is how I picture it is. And if you guys didn't see that video, I'll put an annotation to it right now, and you guys can go ahead and leave a comment there, and maybe your comment will get picked for the first episode of Tutorial Tuesday. Uh, one more final thing before I get into commentating about what I want to commentate about this time. What do you guys think of the music behind my voice? Um, this is actually copyright free music that you can get online and put it on YouTube as your YouTube videos and you don't get charged, you don't get like a copyright strike on your YouTube channel which is nice as long as you just put in the description uh, the copyright claim in it. And um, yeah, so let me know if you like this guys, I just want a couple comments in the comment section below letting me know if you guys like it, if, if you don't, if I should be louder, quieter, whatever. Let me know what you think, and I will definitely take that under consideration. So, what I want to commentate about today is actually a video that some that one of my subscribers suggested, and um, it's, it's yeah. I'll give you guys an example real quick here. If you guys want to suggest anything for the next video, please be sure to do that. I am very open to suggestions, as you can see here. Anytime I get a suggestion for a video, I hop right on that and get going. So, um, what a subscriber uh, suggested is a video on why me and Keller broke up. Now, um, and I guess I'm going to make this video about breaking up in general and give you guys my story. But really quickly, for those of you guys that just got to my channel, um, I was dating this girl for seven months. Her name was Keller, and, um, and then we broke up, shit, I don't know, like a month and a half ago or something like that. Now I'm dating this other girl named Olivia. But anyway, um, so yeah, let's just talk about this real quick. Breaking up, um, I mean, it's hard, you know, guys, it's... I mean, unless you're like a big player of a whore that doesn't care about relationships and how other people feel, then it is really hard. And I don't support that at all, really. I mean, I used to be a big, like, I'd say, like, I don't know. I used to go after, like, every single girl, date them for, like, a couple days, do what I wanted to do, and then leave. And I finally came to my senses and realized that wasn't right. I mean, yeah, I used to do that, but then again, I used to smoke a half an ounce of weed a day. Um, anyway, and... So, yeah, I mean, it's hard, so for all of you guys out there, like, who are struggling with, like, a breakup or something like that, I mean, I totally feel you, you know, uh, it's kind of, it's kind of hard, and I support you 100%, if you want some advice, um, do it, do it easily, like, gently, I guess, if you want to break up with someone, um, do it, definitely do it, like, gently, like, talk to them, be like, it's, it's, uh, I've really liked you and all, and things are just not going the way they should, and I think it'd be better, or best, if, uh, if we were just friends or something like that and try to take the just friends route out first if that doesn't work kind of just stray away from that you know and if you feel like you're dating someone and they're gonna break up with you sooner or later like if you can see that there's already problems in the relationship <clears throat> honestly I would probably give you the guys the advice to break up now uh, break up sooner than later because it's just like it will drag on for a bit but if you can see that a relationship is gonna end 99% chance is that it is gonna end it's just gonna hurt long longer and more uh, later on in the long route so if you're if you think it's gonna happen I would probably suggest doing it right away so uh, being that the advice of that I just given you let's talk about uh, why Keller and I broke up so Keller and I we met each other on a gym field trip actually we both took advanced gym um, and we met on a gym field trip to North Park uh, North Park's kinda like this nature park around Pittsburgh it's actually pretty nice, but we went on the advanced gym field trip, and we sat beside each other on the bus and all, and that's how I met her, and we kind of hung out all day. After that, I kind of invited her over to swim, because I have a pool, and we went swimming, 
and uh, things kind of clicked there, and yeah, I pulled the first move, uh, pulled that kiss right there, or whatever we were, uh, whatever we were just kind of hanging out at the end of the day. But um, yeah, and then after that, we I asked her out, and we started dating, and that was kind of towards the beginning of summer. So uh, that's the beginning of that, and then we dated for seven months, which is pretty damn long. That's like more than half a year. Take under consideration like a year and divide that by like a little bit less than half. That's a long time. That, that's like 175 days or something like that. I, sorry, I had to do really quick math, but I'm slow. Anyway, uh, that's a long time, I guess. I mean, for a relationship, not really, really all that long, but it is a pretty long relationship, and we ended up breaking up. Now, what happened was the first time I actually broke up with her once, and then got back together with her, and then broke up finally for good. And the first time, I mean, she was, I can't, honestly, I can't say too many bad things about the girl. It, she's a really sweet girl, she has a good heart and all, but like, I mean, it's just, she had too many problems, and I mean, I'm not trying to diss her, you know, because I'm, I'm far from one of those people that likes to talk behind people's backs and, and, and poke fun at people and all that stuff. If I'm gonna be a dick, I'm gonna do it to someone's face. It's better than talking behind their back, so keep in mind that I'm not trying to be a total dick about it. I'm just trying to give you guys the upright story of what happened. And, um, so, she had a lot of these problems, like, she had, like, depression problems and, and she, like, she thought about suicide a couple times and all that stuff. And she would cut, and it would just, it would just piss me off, because I'm not that kind of a person, honestly, I'm a person that, like, believes in that if, that there's, that there's no need for that kind of shit, you get over things in a normal way, you don't need to go, like, harm yourself because something someone did, you know? And it was just like that constantly, and she was just really, really clingy, and all, and all that together just kind of, uh, forced me to break up with her the first time, and then she started crying about it, and she started, to uh, give me, like, the, her suicide thoughts again, and so we got, we went out back together, but I could realize that it honestly wasn't lasting a long time, and that's where I kind of came to my senses, and I was like, you know what, it's better to just break up with her now, and then just to drag it on for another half a year, and then break up with her later. It's gonna hurt her more, and I realized that it'd be, just be better. As hard as it would be, it'd be better to, uh, break up with her right there. And, uh, so I broke up with her then. And that was mainly because, like I said, it was after the second time we broke up, she started being bitchy and all that. And here's the story. So, she was sick, and she didn't want to go to school. So, she w she didn't go to school, and she texted me that she didn't go to school. And honestly, any time I, I had to give up with my friends, like honestly, Stephen Thomas, you're probably watching this, did I ever pick you guys over her? Any time I had a decision between her and guys, I picked her. And every single goddamn time, and I can't tell you how much I regretted it right now. But, and uh, and one time she was sick, and my guy friends wanted to sled that day because it was snowing, and I was like, all right, well let's go sledding. And she was like, come over, I really want to see you. I was like, Keller, listen, you didn't have the energy to go to school today. You certainly don't have the energy to see me. I'm gonna go do something with my guy friends, and you are gonna stay home and be sick like sick people do. And. Um, I left my phone inside to charge. I come back from a day of sledding. It was probably, it wasn't even a day, it was like three or four hours. I have 24 text messages from her about how, like, sh I pick the guys over her all the time and how I'm so bad and all that stuff. And then, um, and then I was like, I, I started texting her after that. And she was just being all this clingy about everything and, I, and how I had to be beside her, like, all the time. And I was like, oh my god, Kel I finally, like, lost it. And I was like, Keller, oh my god, you're so needy. And she was like, well, if I'm so needy, then why are you even here? And that's when I kind of just completely snapped and I lost it. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I'm not here anymore. This is it, Keller, we're done. And I ended it right there. And right now, I'm really glad I did it. That's the end of the gameplay, guys. 54 and 11. Uh, that's my story of breaking up with Keller. Honestly, if you guys are going through it, I know it's a tough time. I feel you guys. If you ever need any advice, uh, you, you'll be, you can be... Um, if more more than you can go ahead and come to me anytime you want. I'm very open with you guys, very sincere with you guys. So hope you enjoyed. Make sure to put down comments and I will see you guys in my next videos and live streams. Peace.